Michael Mignano, owner and chef of Main Street Bakery Cafe in Port Washington, New York. Today we're going to make a classic Genoise uh, sponge. So I have eight eggs, four yolks, 15 ounces of granulated sugar, six ounces of all-purpose flour, six ounces of cake flour, a quarter of a cup of vegetable oil, and one ounce of cornstarch. So we're going to take our eggs, we're going to, and also our egg yolks, and sugar, we're going to whip them very vigorously in the highest speed of the mixer until everything is very pale and frothy. You're actually going to triple the volume size of the uh, egg and sugar mixture. What this does is that it adds fluffiness to your cake, it makes your genoise very light, uh, and it makes a perfectly evenly baked cake. Uh, we're going to mix this now till it's about triple in volume. What this does, it makes the cake very light, airy, and fluffy and gives you a great finished product on the, at the end. So now our eggs and our sugar mixture, it's pretty much triple in volume. I'll show you. You can see it's very frothy, really pale. So you have to sort of pick it up. We're actually here, so the whisk. And this is what they would call a ribbon stage when you do make uh, a French uh, Genoise cake. So we're gonna take this bowl out. Now you have to fold very carefully and lightly. We're going to add our flour and our cornstarch to the side. Add about half the amount and just start to fold very carefully. You also want to be aware of lumps. The worst thing is to have lumps in your genoise. Nothing like biting into a clump of flour. And actually start increasing a little speed with your spatula. And again, make sure you get all the way in the bottom because the flour will rest at the bottom naturally. You can actually feel the mixture stiffening up as you're folding it. Now we want to add our oil in a very slow stream on the side. And then quickly again, continue to fold. Scrape the sides, continue to fold from the down to the top of the bowl. So this looks very well mixed and blended. It has a nice peak to it, a little firmness. See how it just sits in the top and rests? This is exactly what you want to see. So we sprayed our pan with a non-grease spray. We're going to have a little bit of flour just to cover the inside. Just knock it around. Make sure it covers the inside evenly. This will prevent the uh, cake from sticking. Any excess, sort of bang it out, and you'll have a beautifully uh, very thin floured surface. You want to add your cake about three quarters of the way. Very gently, as I'm doing it, let it just flow in, almost ribbon-like. Don't slam it in. Just as so, place your bowl down gently. No need to tap it down, and there you go. So we're going to place our cake pan, put that in the oven at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. So we have our genoise done. Again, nice golden brown. You can see how it just springs right back. The center is nice and dry. And you have a very nice light sponge to cut. I'll make a beautiful cake, strawberry shortcakes, or any kind of custard cakes.